Yo, what is going on guys? Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another Boston Celtics video. Yeah, boy. Um just here to talk about playoff um games 1 and 2 are finished and game 3 is actually happening in yeah, an hour or so. Um didn't know when I was going to do a video or a recap video. Um I don't really did Celtics recap videos in the playoff last year. I did a couple years ago when we lost to Golden State Warriors. Um, I end up chickening out so um, in that last game when we lost um, but I just want to talk about games one and two um, which oh man um, but anyways let's get to it um, if you guys haven't done so like subscribe um, comment your favorite NBA team in the comment section as you can tell from mine it's the Boston Celtics I've been a fan since I was 2000 um, been a fan since 2009 so um, yeah, it's been so long. So the diehard Celtics fan right here. Um, but talking about games one and two, game one, perfect game. Um, we were dominating the Miami Heat. Uh, Miami Heat, they're a dangerous team. Um, but we were dominating um, the Miami Heat in game one. We were up by a lot. Like, I'm telling you, a lot. It was a great game. Um, we shot like what 30 something threes or something like that it was the most threes in the post game um, Playoff game. Um, I don't remember. Let me see the stats real quick in this shit um, 22 threes 22 threes out of 49. That is a lot um, Field goals. We were 39 and 82 God um, <laughs> Field goal percentage was 47.6 to their 46.9 um, we were almost perfect at the free throw line. We were 14 and 16. They were perfect at the free throw line. Six for six. This is game one, by the way. Um, total rebounds. We beat the battle 44 to 34. Offensive rebounds 10 to 5. Defensive rebounds 34. Um, we were killing it. We, um, except we had 10 t turtles to them nine. Um, we had 24 points in the paint, but holy shit. The Heat destroyed us in the points and paint where they had 44, we only had 24. Um, they had 13 fouls where we had 10. So uh, we were dominating. Uh, we were dominating them like holy shit. But then at the end, I want to talk about the end of game one. It was just almost a comeback by the Miami Heat. Exactly what I've been talking about this for so many times now. This team, man, this Boston Celtics team are... They're, they're used to it. They they do it. I don't know. They're known to do it. They they just do it. At the end of each game, they just can't hold on to the fucking lead. And they blow it. Thankfully, we didn't blow it. Um, we were about to fucking blow it in the fourth quarter. 35 points in the fourth quarter for Miami Heat. We only had 23. Um, there you showed it that um, they almost came back. But thankfully, we came across with the win. I'm like, this just can't happen. This Boston Celtics is known to blow leads in the fourth quarter towards the end. Like, holy moly. Um, that game that we had in the regular season, I think it was against, uh, was it Scar I think it was against the Kings. Yeah, it was like the Kings had a something one, it was bad. Let's just say it was bad. Um, but we just can't do this in the playoffs. 114-94. Um, Jason Tatum was 23 points. Jason, uh, Jalen Brown was 17. Christine Porzingis um, had 18. Um, Drew Holiday didn't really show up. Only had six points. Um, Derek White 20 points. El Hoffer 10. Um, Peyton Pritchard 8, and um, Sam Hanser um, was 12. So it was a dominant performance after that four. Well. Moving on to the fourth quarter, it was a nightmare heart attack. I thought the Heat were really coming back. They were on like a a good couple runs at the end. And then I'm like, are we really going to blow this? But we came away with the win. 114 to 94. Um, not bad, actually. Um, so we take a one nothing series lead. Um, going to game two. Look, game two, I kind of expected it. Game two was okay, I guess, at one point. Game two was a close game. Um, well, only for the first couple minutes of the first half, um, we came out to play. We were, you know, getting buckets, and then it was literally the second half that blew us off. Um, it just, I know, it's like, oh, the Heat is only the numbered eight seed. 
oh, we're the one seed, we should have win, but it's like embarrassing. It's literally embarrassing, and I already had one guy who's a Heat fan gloat at me. It's like, oh, you guys should be scared. Um, the Heat, they don't have um, Jimmy Butler, they don't have well, some other players, but the Heat, they still got talent, man. This is a team that has beaten us in the playoffs many times, well, last year, and then we beat them the year prior. And then it's like, oh, um, games one, we beat them in the three-point contest, and then now they did this to us. Like, it's like, it's like back around or rousey, like, holy shit. It's like what we did to them in game one, they did to us in game two. It's like we whooped their ass in game one, they whooped their ass. Well, I wouldn't say they whooped their ass because it was pretty close the first three quarters until that fourth quarter came, we just... We just know where to be found, man. Like, looking at the stats, um, this is game two stats. Um, we end up losing 111 to 101. Um, I, biggest upset, I guess. People are saying it. Um, but looking at the stat, um, Celtics, they were 12 for 32 behind the arc. And looking at the Heat, this is like I was talking about. Them doing what we did to them in game one. Um, the Heat, they were 23 and 43. Three pointing. Sorry, excuse me. Twenty three and forty to forty three and three pointers. That that just just shows you what we did to them in game one. They said, "Oh, I can do it right back to you in game two. and it killed us. Um, free throw. There were seventy seven point eight percent at the free throw line. We were seventy one point four. Um, total rebound. They had forty. We had thirty nine. Not really. Um, too much to talk about there. Um, turnovers, it was an even 12 turnovers each. Um, points in the paint, we actually beat them in the points in paint in this game. But we just, we, we just, um, nine steals, nine steals, one block. We had eight blocks, they had one. Um, uh, personal fouls, they had 22. But then it, it's the three-point shooting contest that probably made them win this game. It's like that, that, that timeline in the fourth quarter or was, it might have been at the, towards the end of the third quarter. Who cares? I don't remember. It's like, I don't know, like, this is a Heat team that, this is, this is a Heat team that might be our kryptonite. This is a Heat team that could be, um, unstoppable. It's just like, it's, it's every fucking year with Boston sports, man. Like, last year, I had to witness my Boston Bruins win the President's Trophy. Like, probably the best regular season record ever just to choke and lose in the first round. And now I'm about to see the Boston Celtics maybe pull that. Like, holy shit. Like, can I just see a team win? Like, as a, like a, as a best um, team. In the, like, well, I wouldn't say this. The Bruins obviously didn't win the Atlantic. They didn't win the Bruins Trophy winner, which is cursed, by the way. But the Rangers are doing a hell lot better than the Bruins when they were Bruins Trophy last year. Look at the Rangers. They could sweep capitals. That just shows the Bruins were the worst Bruins Trophy winning team last year if the Rangers can pull it off. Because we lost round one. Look at the Rangers dominating. They probably are the best uh, Bruins Trophy um, winning team that I have ever seen. I mean, like I said, not a lot of teams can win the Stanley Cup as with the President's Trophy winning. Um, but I'm not going to talk about hockey. It's like last year I had to deal with that, and now I'm about to see an A seed upset my um, Boston Celtics if we can't get our head out of our fucking asses. Um, but it's like, but like I said before, I have no hate towards the Miami Heat. Um, Jason Tatum, 28 points. Jalen Brown, 33 points. Uh, Chris Tepp, Forzinga, 6 points. It's horrible. Drew Holiday, 9 points. Derek White, it just... Payne Pritchard didn't have any points when he played for 20 minutes. It just... The Heat, they were killing us in the threes. What we did to them in Game 1, they just did to us in Game 2. Um, and looking at the Heat, um, Nicola Juvi, it's 11 points. Um, Tyler Hero, 24 points. Bam Adobeo, um, 21 points. Caleb Martin, 21 points. Um, Kevin Love, um, Kevin Love, I liked him, but he just, like, not doing anything, really. Um, it just, Tyler Hero is a beast. Respect to him, nothing against him. Um, and to see how badly we lost to this team, Celtics fans, I wouldn't, um, celebrate early. 
Um, I knew coming into this series that the Miami Heat were going to put up a fight against us because they they have um, beaten us last year. They know what we're capable of. Um, you know, we have to see what happens because game three is tonight. Well, it's in the hour, which I'm going to be streaming, by the way. Um, so hopefully we don't get our ass kicked again. If not, it's just do or die in game four, which is next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, I believe. Um, but... <laughs> I, I'm not gonna, um, this is annoying, excuse me, sorry. Um, I'm not gonna, um, go easy on the Heat. They're a great team. Um, the fact that they're AC, they, they just, ugh. um, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Um, it just, it was a close game. It was a close game. Both teams had buckets. It just that towards the end, it just, we, we collapsed. It was that fourth quarter collapse. Uh, Miami Heat, 27 points in the third. Boston Celtics, my Boston Celtics, 18 points in the third quarter, going into the fourth, 26 to 22. Um, it just shows you how badly um, the Miami Heat killed us um, in this game two. Um, you know, it would be phenomenal if this Boston Celtics can win game three and four in Miami. We would need that badly. <laughs> um, but overall, we just win one game in Miami and we're good. I mean, it just... It's just, it's just that simple. We just can't make the mistakes that we make. Like I said, this team's known for do, uh, choking leads in the fourth quarter. It happened many times, like, and it almost cost us. Thank God it didn't cost us in game one. We were dominating, like, him giving the Miami Heat the big fucking dick in the game one. And what do you know? They gave us the dick in game three, uh, game two. So, um... Um, that would do it, guys. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but that's my Celtics preview. Um, well, Celtics talks, not preview, but sorry, my thoughts on games one and two. Um, game three is tonight, so hopefully we can get the win tonight. Um, I don't know when my next um, video will be, so uh, see you guys later.